Greetings everyone, uh, welcome to Bart Fixes Things. So today we're going to be talking about this thing. This is an A-Open HQ45 computer case. And I owned one in the 2000s. So back then A-Open was a pretty new brand. They were a division of h Computers. And they mostly focused on small computers, cases and other components. So for a while I've been thinking about rebuilding the computer I had like 22 years ago. But to me that doesn't make a lot of sense. It probably can't run much and it would probably just be standing in a corner here. So what we're going to be doing today is trying to build a sleeper inside of this case. So for those of you who don't know what a sleeper is, a sleeper is basically a new computer looking like an old computer. So as you probably can see, airflow is going to be a problem in this project. Uh, there's no place for an outtake fan, so we'll probably have to drill one. There's also no room for an intake fan without destroying the front. So what we're probably going to be doing is looking at drilling a hole in the bottom. Um, that way we can put a radiator there and maybe increase the feet size a bit so that we can suck the air in from there here because those holes in the sides aren't fooling anyone. And we do need to fit all of these components. So at the top left you can see the radiator that we're going to mount for the CPU. There's a 3060 Ti that we need to fit in. And of course an RGB power supply and some fans. We're going to be using a Core i3 just to keep things a bit cool. But it should be fast enough for any games. So here we go with the trusty Dremel. We start by cutting out the piece on the bottom. Of course, we removed everything from the case, uh, so because it's going to get quite dirty. And there we go. Now, of course, we also need to drill a hole for the case fan in the back. We got some plywood underneath to just support the metal, so we don't bend it all over the place. And this was actually quite hard to drill, but this is the end result. So I got some feet. And we're reusing the old feet upside down as sort of a spacer, but also it just looks nicer from the inside of the case. And we just mount those to all of the four feet. And that should give us enough clearance to get a good airflow. So next up is mounting or test mounting the radiator. So after putting everything in the case and adding some nice screws, we're also going to add this nice mesh so that it looks nice, but also because then we don't get a lot of dust buildup inside of the system. And lastly, of course, the case fan on the side. And yes, I did drop all of those sort of drills. So when I was looking for some period correct CD-ROM drives, I actually got really lucky and somebody actually gave me this case together with all of what the things that are in it. So, like I said, I'm not going to be building an old computer, but I would love to have some of this aesthetic in a new computer. And also I would love to have like a functional CD-ROM drive or even disk drive in there. So I came across these two Lighthorn drives, and as you can see, one of them is black and SATA, and the other one is white and parallel ADA. So I opened them up, there's a little trick to that, you might not know. Uh, to see if I could swap the fronts, because I remember doing this in the computer store I used to work at quite a lot in the early 2000s. Because uh, we used to get white ones and people would want it black at that point. But as you can see the innards are completely different, so unfortunately that was not going to work. And also we have a small unboxing. I found this thing, a uh, new old stock online. It's a uh, card reader with a USB port, which uh, might be handy. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately it doesn't come with a manual, uh, which would have been nice, but yeah, as you can see, it looks really nice. So it's going to go in. The drive bay, yeah, I decided to give them a nice paint and just mount everything in there. On AliExpress, I found this floppy drive to USB adapter, so we're going to be mounting that in there so that we can actually use the floppy drive still, because of course this modern motherboard doesn't have a floppy drive connector. Uh, so it's actually quite easy. You just connect the power, put it in, and we uh, connect up the USB, and that's it. Oh, 
Of course, we need a nice case bed. And online on Etsy, I found this one. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't Windows 2000, but this is good enough for the 2000s, I guess. There we go. And of course, if we're doing the front, we also have to make the back correct. <laughs> so I got this old license sticker I found on the manual, and I think it's going to be fit perfectly here. Just to give it that old look. And now it's time to reveal the thing. Well, of course, this is how it looks with all the panels closed. You can see we've got the CD and the cassette. You see some RGB. I went for a gray case fan in the back so that the back just well, looks pretty old fashioned. Nothing special. Some RGB shining through. But then with the panel off, of course, it's completely different. As you can see, everything is color coordinated through software. We've got the radiator at the bottom and then basically everything nice tight to the side. As you can see I spray painted the controller as well so that it matches the blue in it. So this is it up close. I managed to tuck most of the cables in the front five and a quarter base as you can see and all the other stuff is sheathed or tie wrapped into place so just to give it a clean look yeah so I'm really happy with the way the system turned out uh, it keeps uh, it's even when it's closed the temperatures are uh, really decent and uh, yeah I'm gonna be have to do a lot of gaming I guess uh, it just runs perfectly and yeah this stuff looks our amazing. I did spend quite a lot of time cable uh, tidying up the cables, of course. But yeah, as you can see, it's running fine. Yeah, so the this drive keeps its light on for some reason with the adapter, but yeah, other than that, it just works. So yeah, <laughs> I really like the way the RAM looks. It gives it like, like a sort of a cyberpunk look to it which yeah, really fits the build, same with the radiator. Apparently given the radiator below the pump isn't the best for the pump, but yeah, we'll see. Um, 